Hey everybody, welcome to the garden. I hope you're having a great day. Shout out to the lemon and lime lovers and everybody in between. It's time for the crypto market recap. Let's hop into these charts, see what the story is and what it may be. And remember, if you're interested in any of the services I provide, please check the links in the description below for both the Patreon and Discord. Okay, so what are we going to be looking at today? Of course, we're going to be looking at Bitcoin. We'll also be looking at Avalanche, Ethereum, Solana, and Link. As we are still long these positions, even after yesterday, we are still long these positions. And we're going to go into exactly what I'm seeing uh, happening from yesterday and what I see happening uh, in the near future. Okay, and why I'm also still, you know, pretty bullish. You're going to hear that I haven't really changed my tune, and there's a good reason for it. Okay, so let's start with Bitcoin, so I can make that clear. So on my on one of my recaps, I want to say the one before last, I was talking about as we were breaking out of this structure, uh, this consolidation, that hey, we are breaking above this pivot level here, okay, and we had a closure above it, but what is my definition of a breakout so if you've been following me for quite a while you should know i repeat this at nauseum so my apologies i'm going to do it again uh, a breakout for me is that you have a daily candle break above a level and then the following daily candle needs to close above the high of that last daily candle and what did we get not that all right we got a beautiful beginning breakout formation on the 30th of may and in may 31st we had you know we were actually showing signs of breaking above the high and we actually did break above the high but we ended up closing well below it at 31,781, and it was starting in my opinion what looked to be a consolidation a bullish consolidation here okay but the market had another idea sold right into that major support zone again at 30,000 to 28,900. So we came right back into it. Currently we're holding it. Uh, we're having a relatively nice but small bounce compared to yesterday's drop uh, uh, today. And we'll see how we close in about what 39 minutes this daily candle. We'll see what happens with the next daily candle. We may have another drop going into 28,900 and maybe lower, or we're just gonna do another you know, modest candle and consolidate and kind of float higher. We have to wait and see, all right? But I'm going to explain exactly what I'm, my bias is still, I'm still bullish. I'm going to explain why. One, we have no evidence that we're breaking bearish. It's not there yet. We, we don't, we don't have it yet. We do have an attack on the zone again, but we can't actually infer that it's going to break yet until it actually starts showing signs of breaking. We didn't even reach the level down here yet. We may in this next daily candle coming, that's for sure, but we can't make that decision yet. All right, we have to let the market show us the way. That's why, I, that's why when we have a breakout of a level, we want to wait for confirmations before we can actually say that we are breaking out. If you were, you know, a pure breakout trader, you probably got caught with your pants down here. Okay, there's plenty of people who bought here think we we're breaking out, and rightly so. All right, it did look good to break out, but now they're down six, six and a half percent. You know, now they have a pretty, pretty bad drawdown. Where us, we're actually somewhat in profit to flat right? and that's why buying you know major support levels when when the markets are falling in my opinion is definitely the way to go and it's the same vice versa when markets are going up when you have enough evidence you want to short at major resistance levels it, it, it's really that simple okay it keeps you uh keeps you in the most high probability level uh, uh, uh high probability trades to at least be break even or in profit at any given time all right so now we're currently in a waiting game. And the only thing I can say about this candle here, it does infer possibly if we do have a, a sideways consolidation from here, let's just say going into the end of this coming weekend, we may have a really, really long consolidation here, guys. All right. What well, I'm talking about really long. And what I mean, and what that means is if, if we do have a long consolidation, you know, holding above this zone kind of like this then the probabilities of us coming lower to test this bottom wick level here is become it becomes very likely okay whether we break it or not well we have to wait and see but that becomes very likely the longer we consolidate here all right and if we do hold this level and we start coming back up towards here and we just keep kind of we're really going to be going into a really long consolidation that probably would take up the entire summer that to me is the most 
improbable path, but we do have to look at it uh, as a possibility. To me, the most probable path even now is to the upside going towards 33 or 34,000, especially now that if you observe what's going on with the social medias and the general crypto population, they're very bearish, even though this candle didn't change the structure at all. Uh, and most altcoins, their structure didn't change either. And some of these dropped 10, 20%, and the structure is still relatively the same as it was when it went up 5, 8, 10% the day before the drop. So you have a lot of really overly bearish uh, people, you know, screaming pretty much. All right. And that's, again, a clear sign that we're likely going to go up a bit more before we have another major drop. And then if we do have a drop, this is the you know second most likely path that we do break down towards 26,500 and probably break it pretty quickly, okay? If this level is gonna break, it's gonna break very, very fast. It's very unlikely for there to be a major consolidation above it and then break. It'll probably just burst on through and then consolidate below it, significantly below it, somewhere around you know 25,500 before it may come back up to test you know this general area and then go lower or maybe even all the way back it could go all the way back up towards you know 29,000 and then go lower okay so like that that is definitely in the cards that's more this is more likely than a major long consolidation here okay it's definitely more likely to break down but most it's still most likely of all the pathways to break up all right and if we do break up i'm still in the camp that we probably will have a bullish consolidation here and then break out even higher okay but again we just have to wait and see we don't have all the answers yet uh, we were showing evidence of possibly starting that move towards the blue line on the 30th of may but the markets had a different a different view and honestly when you see price action like this it's pretty similar to this uh, it's usually the market maker catching longs and then also catching shorts so this is going to be a, a big a big big you know as it has been big washing machine here okay again people getting caught breaking out uh trying to play breakout longs and then yeah people trying to play uh breakout shorts right here so it, it's it's non-stop catching the short-term trader who are who, you know who when i say short-term trader there are plenty who know what they're doing but most don't um you know and they're getting caught really bad really bad they're getting washed around here uh and us well we're just sitting and enjoying the show for the most part uh but we'll see we'll see how this goes I'm still, you know, my bias is bullish. Nothing's really changed for me. My targets are still the same. 33,000 to 34,000. And then if we do break past the blue line, 35 to 36, really 36, 37. And then, you know, possibly 39, 40,000, somewhere around there. Uh, I do want to, I will definitely be looking to go short around 39 to 40,000 for sure. That that would, I want to be out of the long by then if we get there. And I definitely want to be looking to possibly going short there. Again, it does depend on how fast price gets there and depends on the structure of how it looks when it's when it's near those zones all right um and before i go on to avalanche i do want to discuss something about that i'm going to go it so in this coming weekend i'm going to be doing a members only video i'm going to discuss with the members uh exactly what i mean when i look talk about supports and resistance in time okay so supports and resistance levels the most important thing about them is time it's not the levels it's the actual time and when they get visited and when they don't get visited that's that's the most important thing plenty of retail traders will not even understand what i'm saying they'll they'll probably think that's nonsense they don't know what they're talking about that's the most important thing okay so when this coming weekend saturday i'm going to be doing a video for the members so if you are interested in that you know please check out the patreon it's just fifteen dollars a month it's just for the peer call outs so if you just want to do call outs and you want to be part of those videos you know see the extra content fifteen dollars a month i made sure to keep it cheap i'm gonna keep it that level it's not gonna ever increase uh I, I was trying to match netflix i never imagined i would be cheaper than netflix which is that's crazy all right so let's uh take a quick look at avalanche so avalanche you know, again nothing's changed nothing's changed isn't that crazy so take a look at yesterday we had you know june 1st big drop right pretty big drop too it's 10.4 percent you know percentage wise that's a pretty significant drop but the structure is still the exact same right you have you just have this continuous channel down which you can kind of which you know you can infer as a wedge but you could call it a channel as well depends on your perspective but for me it's more of a wedge all right the reason why for me it's more of a wedge because i'm respecting this bottom wick here see here that make that makes sense so 
as you're seeing these prices are all coming down towards these bottoming wicks. So far, Avalanche actually tested it and, and held it, respected it, and now it's coming back towards it. Uh, almost got to it again, and we'll see if it has another impulse to break out higher or if it's gonna, just going to come lower. We'll see. But we're still in these wedge formations to channel formations, okay? Depending on how long these things consolidate, we could be going into, into channels as well. All right, and a down sloping channel, a down a downward channel is ultimately bullish. You wanna, you don't wanna, um, you wanna kind of counter trend trade channels. Okay, uh, you have the highest probability of making the most money that way. Um, you can make money, you know, following the trend when it comes to channels, but in my opinion, uh, you can make well far more money counter trending channels and playing the channel levels um, um, that way rather than trying to follow the channel trend okay uh but yeah so avalanche you know we're currently it's still in this structure uh even after the significant sell-off yesterday and we're gonna see you know if it does break out which it's still more likely to break out first level i'm gonna be looking at you know 36 is gonna be interesting but i really am eyeing 40 dollars okay the bottom pretty much this bottom level here okay and then once that's if that's broken let's say we have a consolidation here and we break out higher 50 dollars has got to be the level you look at all right, I've been preaching it for I don't know how long. Fifty dollars is the major, major level for Avalanche. If it can break out and then break towards forty dollars, it's it will be very likely for it to have another move higher to fifty dollars. It's very, very important for it to do it for the overall bearish macro structure. It will be extremely bearish if it respects fifty dollars as resistance you will i'm telling you right now you will likely see avalanche going sub 20 sub 15 maybe even sub 10 dollars within a year to a year and a half okay uh let's see and of course uh once we get if we get to these levels i can't say once if we get towards these levels i will definitely have sold well before fifty dollars uh, i'm eyeing forty dollars but i might be con depending on how bitcoin looks i may even close out around 35 to 36 dollars just depends on how how the price action looks for bitcoin and of course avalanche as well okay and let's take a quick look at ethereum Ethereum, Ethereum, I will say this, out of all the coins that we're in, definitely the weakest of them all, okay? Definitely the weakest of them all. It has it, it has lost the general zone that I think is very important for the whole, which is about 1850 to 1900, and then we have this, you know, this this little uh, horizontal line, the 1877, which is kind of like the median of that, um, and it, it, it did lose that level, and it's currently under the 1850 level, but, you know, we're, we're, we're talking uh, about 10, what, 12, 10 bucks right now. Um, but it's follow, th it's follow through up to the upside today uh, is, is a lot more stunted. Um, so it is, it is a little bit more bearish uh, compared to uh, Bitcoin and the other altcoins. But again, if Bitcoin does have an impulse higher, um, Ethereum will follow. But if it, if, if it does have a consolidation uh, that, that really doesn't show much follow through, in these next coming days so let's just say bitcoin stays where it is for the next two three days but the altcoins are floating higher and ethereum doesn't um if bitcoin does have a bullish breakout that might mean that might infer that ethereum is going to have a, a pretty relatively weak move all right so we do want to keep that in mind but my targets are still the same as of now uh you know 2000 of course and then 2300 okay 2300 is still the level uh, I'm, I'm eyeing um, but we are starting to see more evidence of a down, you know, this down sloping channel, down slope or down sloping wedge. I would say again, I'm leaning towards wedges. Or I'm leaning towards wedges, but you could look at it as a channel. But this, this to me looks like the structure. Okay. Hopefully it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, please DM me or ask me on the Discord. I'm always open for questions. Okay. All right. Let's take a quick look at Solana. I'm not going to go over the levels I'm targeting to add on too much because the the Patreon members should know. Um, I'm not going to go over that too much because um, I mean these are these are positions for the Patreon members. Uh, they know exactly when we got in and when we're planning to get out and our add on levels. So I won't go over that too much. I will go over. I will generally, as you're seeing, you know, talk about the levels I'm eyeing to sell. Um, and I'll give. I'll also generally give my thoughts on possible short entries because you know even though if you're not a Patreon member, I do want you to know my thinking. So you know if I'm saying let's for example Solana might get to seventy five dollars, know that I will be looking to possibly going short there. Of course though, I it does depend on the timing. 
okay you won't know that if you're not a patreon member you might go short 75 dollars but for me the whole structure might have changed to where i'm thinking it's going to go to 98 dollars now all right so just keep that in mind if you hear me say that in a video that i'm eyeing to possibly go short these zones uh it's true right now but it might change if if we have a major bull flag forming under there right because then you don't want to really go short here only that that's that's just a recipe for disaster when you when you see something like that you want to you want to push your your target higher right so in this case it'd be like a 90 dollars okay so hopefully that makes sense again if it doesn't just you know let me know <laughs> and uh i'll try and make it clear so solana again you know as we can see descending down really respecting this trend line lower and again this wedge pattern looks pretty clear right this it, it it didn't get all the way down towards the bottom of this wick, but it is testing out this $38.10 level. Um, and I was actually really tempted to buy here. I actually put an order at $38 flat, and of course it was $0.10 cents off. So we were going to add on here, but unfortunately we just missed it. Um, now I definitely won't be adding on. So if this next daily candle, which opens up in about 25 minutes, starts selling off, I'm not going to be looking to add on there. At least I don't think I am. I shouldn't say anything in absolutes. Most of the time, I do change my mind. But, but again, every the timing matters for a lot of things. And if it was if it was going to come to thirty eight dollars, it would have been this candle. Uh, we may have more, a little bit more floaty action towards the top here going into the next daily candle. We'll see. But I do like this. I like this pattern overall. Very similar to all these altcoins. Again, that was another reason as to why I didn't do a video yesterday. Uh, nothing really changed, uh, even with that significant sell-off. Um, it, it just it, nothing really changed, which is you know, which is crazy, because <laughs> these were some significant drops percentage-wise. This is a twelve, almost a twelve and a half, twelve and a half percent drop, and yet it, it, it didn't really change the consolidation here, did it? Pretty nuts. All right, let's. And again, my target for Solana, I think Solana potentially can be the best mover percentage-wise. I am eyeing first sixty dollars. Uh, this level here, fifty-eight to fifty-seven dollars. You know, this little pivot here might be something. Um, I'll have to look, but sixty dollars looks more likely. And then, you know, if that breaks, you know, look for seventy-five to eighty-two bucks. And th like this, this is a very powerful level. Um, I would, if it breaks sixty dollars, it becomes very likely it gets towards at least seventy-five dollars. We're talking about very, very likely. Okay, let's take a quick look at Link. So Link, Link out of you know Link again very i like I, I like how link looks personally um it's definitely more neutral uh compared to a lot of a lot of the other coins that we're looking at uh but i do like its price action um i find that link is in a, a very clean consolidation i do think link is likely going to get to at least eight dollars and fifty cents but most likely nine and maybe even you know nine fifty nine eighty towards this blue line here uh, link looks really good. It get, it's got nowhere near its bottom wick. So link link is showing some some pretty decent strength. Okay, compared to a lot as we saw with all these other coins, link links links bottom wick has not been challenged really at all yet. Uh, it will eventually, in my opinion. I I do I still think that crypto is going to go down lower. I just don't think in the short term it will. I think we we are going to see more upside. And Link, uh, Link is definitely showing some relative strength. So if it does break out from here, I, you're gonna at least likely see eight dollars and fifty cents, and then towards the blue line here, nine to maybe even ten dollars. Depends on how quickly it gets here. Okay. And uh, I think that's it for today. I'm not gonna go over any other coins. Um, I, they, again, they all look extremely similar. Um, so you know, and they're all gonna ride and die with Bitcoin, right? It's so like Bitcoin is is showing the way, and so far Bitcoin is still holding this major level. And we can't really infer anything um, beyond that. Uh, the resistance zone here is is still here, and the support zone is still here. Nothing has really changed, and we, uh, you know, we're just going to sit in our position. And currently, I think we're slightly in the green to flat. All right, and I'm sure if this next daily candle opens up, we may see some more downside. And if we do start losing the 28,900 level, like I said before then we should start we should start looking into possibly testing the bottom wick here all right but again it's going to depend on how price action comes into it how fast how slow that all takes 
that all matters and that all you know goes into the 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 probabilities of whether a level gets held or not all right okay so i think that's it yeah all right everyone thanks for sitting with me i tried to make this short and sweet i'm sure i made this a little longer than it had to be but hopefully my thinking's clear hopefully you're getting exactly what i'm seeing and uh again make sure to ask me any questions you have whether personally you know through a dm or on the discord um and if you are interested in the service you know take a quick look at the patreon very cheap for the call outs if you want you know tutorings of course you know that's going to be a little bit more but it's very good it's very very good um if you want a little bit more information on that just dm me i'm very you know i'm very transparent exactly what i'll do with you um and uh and maybe if if you know let me know if you guys want maybe i'll do like a video on uh, like a for all for everyone on discord exactly my uh structure of a tutoring of a session okay all right so everyone remember be patient be vigilant and be nimble love you guys take care bye